everyone, welcome back. Today we are talking about chatter groups, which is quite an important topic in the admin exam. There are four different types of chatter groups that we need to be aware of, and today we're just going to whiz through each chatter group type and what it means. The first chatter group that we need to be aware of is the public chatter group. The public group means that anyone can see and add posts, comments, and files, and anyone can join a public group. It is truly public, open to anyone, anyone can add stuff, anyone can comment stuff. Our next group is a private group and a private chatter group means that the group name, description and member list are visible but nothing else is. You can't see any of the files, you can't see any of the posts, you can't see any of the comments unless you are actually a member of that private group. If you're not a member of that group then all that you're going to see is the group name, the description and the member list. Our third type of chatter group is unlisted groups. And unlisted means that it is quite literally not listed as a group. Even if you search for that unlisted group by its exact name, nothing is going to show up. No one can search for these groups, find them, or ask to be a part of them. Unlisted groups are strictly by invite only. Only members of the unlisted group itself can see it or any content that it has. Further, only members of unlisted groups can delete group feed content, can add or see posts, comments and files. Our final type of chatter group is an archived group. Now some groups in chatter can be archived and when a group is archived, it means that people can no longer create posts, but all of those previous posts are still going to be retained for reference. Now in chatter, there is a broadcast only setting, which means that only group owners and their managers are allowed to post in the group. Those were the four different types of chatter groups available. I hope that you got a bit of an understanding of each one of those and what it means and a little bit of extra information about this broadcast only setting.